guys, welcome to another episode of Naomi's House on Heather's Treasures. <laughs> I've been telling everybody I'm living vicariously through this house. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I won't go into that. I measured the interior wall and I've been using the square to square things up. And it was easier to measure the wall height uh, and the wall width, the floor width by millimeters and then the doorway was 18 centimeters and six centimeters so roughly two and a quarter inches by seven something and uh, so I cut it 249 millimeters tall 250 millimeter 251 millimeters wide and I measured in six centimeters and up 18 centimeters so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just connect the dots here I don't know why I didn't start using the square earlier. It makes everything so much easier. So, to, this house is getting wider and wider by the minute. Or by the day. The house is getting wider and wider by the day, guys. Luckily, though, we're done with the width. And now we just need to do the height. Okay. So now I'm going to cut out this doorway. So let's bring over the house. I'm going to lay some glue down here and then some on the side of the wall. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god, you guys! You were not watching me. Maybe I should do this live stream. What do you think? <laughs> so you can catch me. Oh well, at least I'm glad I caught it before I let it dry. <laughs> oh my gosh! This is funny. Alright, I got glue everywhere, even on the top. So now we're going to put the doorway where it belongs. I thought something was kind of off. I need some new tape. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> you want to make sure, and I even put an arrow. Look, I even put an arrow. Oh well. <laughs> you know what? Maybe you guys don't want to watch me do this. You'll have a, well, you'll have a good entertainment anyway. You'll, you'll have a, a good laugh with me. Okay, now that, now that that's fixed, we need to measure out the study. So I have to measure from here to this line right here. And then from the outside or the outside of this inner wall to this line right here, go up to the top and then measure from this line back here. Because we need to have a panel for the floor. See if this is a good fit. Looks like it. Hey, we're ready for glue.
All right, I'm back. I'm sorry. I thought I'd hit record and apparently I didn't do anything. I got the exterior wall up and the ex side exterior wall up and now I'm ready to do the kitchen floor. <laughs> oh, I gotta show you my rug. It really became vibrant. I put, let's see if I stand up so I can see if you're in the camera view. I put Mod Podge on the back just up to the seam. I did a, a straight seam all the way around to try to keep the fraying at a, a minimum. And then I laid it right flat on the silicone mat to let it dry. And this is what it looks like. It's really nice and flat. So that'll go in my kitchen or my living room floor. So now Ava over at Bentley House Minis, she does this. And I thought, neat idea. My dad used to do something similar to this one. He would do plumbing to work around the toilet, do the floor. And I had completely forgotten about it until I saw her do it. And it's like, oh yeah, great idea. So right now I'm just making a template and uh, I will fast forward through this. Hey, there's my floor template for the kitchen. Okay, here's my stencil. Big giant flagstones. What I did to make this stencil was uh, I went into Silhouette. I was going to lie and tell you I cut it all by hand, but I didn't. <laughs> I went into Silhouette. Well, actually, I found an image of some stone tiles, and I liked the shape of this one. It was just a little cluster, like right here. And so I just copied and pasted them all, all over and I got it to the size that I liked because I want big flagstones, big, big, big. I've got this uh, gel medium molding paste. Yes! Okay, I gotta clean up my cutting mat before this dries. So I need to set this aside for a second. Okay, I have to let that dry and then I have to go in and finish the, the sides.
Okay, time to get some wood sticks and my cutter. And I'll be right back. I need to decide if I want to use these wide ones. These are kind of crooked. So you can see what I'm doing and I will be back when I get the rest of this all done. Hey, I'm really batting a thousand guys. I'm sorry. I was recording again. I uh, finished this side here. It's not uh, perfect by any means, but I think it's going to look like a stone floor when I'm done. What I did was uh, I found uh, the matching design and just stuck it on there and filled it in i'm um, probably not in the camera down here that's what i did and then up here at the top i did the same thing i found where it matched i laid it down and just filled it in so now i can just throw this away so this is kind of drying work but i think what uh will happen is when i get it glued and i oh, put a weight on it oh my gosh did you guys just hear my husband belch I'll let you take a peek at my wooden floor. It's drying underneath the book. So, one second. While I put the lid back on my medium. And my wood floor. What do you think? I gotta cut this piece off. Well, anyway. I will do the other wood floor for the, the, the study. And then I will come back and we will glue it all in. And, well, I don't know. Maybe I should stain them before I glue it in. I'll have a think. And, but I'll be back either way. Okay? See you in a little bit. Okay, guys. So here's my floor. I uh, have some bits that I think are sticking up a little bit. I think that'll do for now so let's put it in the house and see how the two oh and here's my wood floor so we'll put it in the house to see how they fit see how well I did wow 
Wow! Look at it, it's coming together! Okay, gotta move a little bit of stuff here. One thing I learned was that you don't have to get it right up to the edge because it, for some reason it seems to grow a little bit. So you've seen me do this before, so I will uh, come back when I've got this wooden floor done. All right, while the study floor is drying underneath this book, I'm going to start painting my kitchen floor. I've got some uh, Golden's Pain, Golden Payne's Gray, and that's going to be the base. So I'm going to get my paintbrush a little wet here. Okay, we'll let this dry and then we will do some uh, dry brushing. Okay, we're gonna have a bit of a play. I've got a rose gold, a, this is metallic, a zinc, which is kind of a, a antique silver, French wine, and deep midnight blue. Deco art, craft smart, craft smart, deco art. Now, as far as dry brushing goes, I always use a hog hair because it's the stiffest brush I've got. So, I'm going to start with this midnight blue, which I'm not going to get much of a difference. So, I think that that one will go on later. So, let's try some of this French wine. When you're dry brushing, you're going to need to do several coats, and the long, the more coats you get, the longer you have to wait for it to dry. I was going to do it all over, or you know, on every stone, but the more I think about it, stones are not like that. They have just random kind of looking stuff. A lot of this isn't even going to show because I'll have cabinets in there, but I don't know where those lines will be yet. So Let's see if we can get this more homogenous.
My paper is warping really badly, guys. I don't know if you can see. It's really warping. I probably should have glued it in place before painting. I don't know. What's your experience? If you guys are miniature, if you're watching this and you do miniatures all the time, let me know in the comments what you do. If you glue in first and then paint. I am painting it outside the house because I thought it would be easier for me. I like it. What do you guys think? I think it looks really good. Are you downstairs? Yep, I'm downstairs. Working on a video. Come down and look what I've been doing. Do they look like stones? Black stones? Like uh, they, 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 they look like cow stones. <gasps> Woo! <laughs> Time for a break. My honey just got me an apple. Oh, you are ready. Okay. We're ready to stain the floors. I have got um, just a clear satin here because I don't want the wood to be real dark. So I'm just going to give them a coat. And you know, I didn't do a super, super, super good job. Woo! Pretty! Okay. I'll close this and we will go in for a close-up so you guys can see. Okay, here's the kitchen floor. I don't know if I'm in love with this or not. I came back with some a uh, little bit of pearl white and kind of did a, just a little bit of dry brushing to lighten them up. And I'm just not sold on it yet. So I'm not going to seal it till I decide what I want to do. And then here is the living room floor. Some of my wood slats are a little crooked. And I guess that's okay. And then here is my study. So next week we'll be tackling the walls. I'm going to do a, a slat wall, not a slat wall, a flat log with chinks. And the fireplace will go in. So I'll have to frame that in. Don't know how far I'll get on that. Yeah, I think next week we'll be just doing the walls because I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight walls and the fireplace. But I like the wood. I love the wood floor. I'm glad I went with the wider slats. Really cool. Okay, guys. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share this with your miniature friends. Stay tuned for the walls, the interior walls. This is going to be fun. I'm excited. Till next time. Love you. Bye-bye.